Hi guys, it's Karis. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about recent purchases by Spain. Sometimes since I've done one, so I've got a lot to cover, and I'm gonna be very honest and tell you the ones that I wish I didn't get. I regret or I would tell you to avoid if this and that or the things that I am loving and I'm so glad I got and some might be in the middle not amazing but not so great still okay type thing you guys know what I'm talking about and also the lipstick I'm wearing right now really loving healthy glow from Chanel I'm gonna link it below you guys like to know what lipstick I'm wearing. Also, nail color, you guys tend to ask. This is just a French tip. It's rose gold, but to me, it's more coppery, more pinky than the rose gold that I normally like. But so far, loving it. It's very neutral and subtle, but it's there. And lipstick color, it's light. So it's just teeny bit of pinky, but more of a lip balm. I love this. Patrick, I got this as a birthday gift from Sephora. So just dab it a little bit. It just makes it really pretty with sparkle there. It's like healthy glow looking and I have the Gucci, the new blush. I am really loving. Yeah, let's begin. First, I see right here, which matches perfectly with my top. I'm gonna link to what I'm wearing, you guys all know, in the description box down below. And also, the ones that I share in this video, if they're available online to purchase, I'll link to them down below. So check if you've been watching my channel for some time, you all know I love backpacks in general. I have a quite a bit of collection going on, the backpack collection in my closet. So I'm a big fan because they're hands-free, functional, practical and looks really cute backpacks normally you wear with super casual outfit because the backpacks are casual right but chanel backpacks are different and it's more special in my heart because they are amazing to go with casual sneakers jeans but also dressy enough for you to wear it with top handle like this you forget about the bag being backpack like super casual but you can wear it more classy way in the crook of your arm and i love this color so much the dark beige it's dark enough but light enough also in between super duper neutral and i highly recommend if you see dark beige color on pretty much any handbag at chanel and i just love how soft that look is and the cc doesn't really stand out it fits a lot and the drawstring here with the pull tab it's very easy and super cute and i just pop it in here and turn lock the two pockets on the front you don't have to turn or do anything but it's got the magnetic opening it's one of the best purchases out of all that you're gonna see in this video now i don't remember if i talked about this golden goose sneakers but I just want to mention how amazing these are. After loving this version from Golden Goose, beautiful bling, silver. I love that star sign. Took some time for me to break in, but after that, so good. And gives me a bit of height there that really helps as I'm not that tall. So after I got this, I had to get another one. It's not like Nike lightweight, but it is lightweight compared to those. And oh, so cute. This is more casual, I would say, than those because those have the silvery theme. And this is edgy and chic. I normally go with longer style or slimming, pointy even for sneakers so that they elongate my legs but these are rounded right but when you put these on cute but also flattering uh super chic especially with that black pop of the star there i really really love these so much both i went with true to size they work perfectly and this version has a uh, slip underneath that has the platform so that's why you look taller 
but you could take that off if you don't want to. It's still comfortable and yes, make me look taller. Now, now let's talk about why I sell purchases. Absolutely loving this card holder I am using currently. It's got two credit card slots on here and there is two sections, one big and one small right behind the opening for my gym, gym membership, two keys. I don't normally carry coins, but you could definitely do that. Only thing, can you guys see the scratches there on the metal? It's quite thick and raised. It's different than like Chanel card holder. This metal is quite flat, very, very thin, but this it's quite thick so of course this is gonna bump into whatever you have inside your handbag and if you don't have a separate pouch to put this who does that right so it will get scratches a lot more than the chanel car holder if you compare it to but i love <laughs> I really do love this car holder and I highly recommend and the price is actually better than the same looking car holder like this just a bit bigger which I don't really think that would change a lot honestly there's a big difference for the price so I highly recommend this one I just love pretty much anything from myself I love their logo very very elegant maybe because there's no YSL but it's all three letters kind of clunk like together and also the leather is super durable there's no color transfer they stated the color white I don't understand why because it's cream it's off-white highly recommend also for gifting for holidays very popular whenever i want to do a gift they're sold out and when it comes back they're sold out again i'm gonna check again of course and link it below next let's talk about soferino size small it comes with medium size as well that will fit a lot more than this one so i highly recommend you to go with size medium over small if you want a bit more room than just having essentials or actually that medium would only fit essentials because this handbag even though i really really love doesn't hold much very structured and the leather is very thick so there's no giving you cannot really squeeze in anything the phone that i have max pro it fits but after you have this inside ooh, not easy to put something thick like this but there's a one slot on here and also a separate section on the back so you can add some cards here something important great organization on the front the slip pocket as well but they're all really tight fitting so that is one thing I'll tell you avoid if you cannot deal with small size handbag and if you don't want to be limited from putting quite a bit of things. I recommend you to go with the camera bag and the smaller the one that has the tassel zipper that I'm gonna link below. The leather is more flexible and that fits a lot and you can squeeze in but this no 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 but the look I love it. I don't know if you can see or tell there's like blackish edge to it with brushed yellow gold it pops and it looks so perfect with this olive green color it's dark green i am loving this color like crazy and i recently got veronica beard blazer the color just like this and the buttons have just like this just perfect combination with deep yellow gold with this beautiful olive green you guys know i've been into green more and more so of course yes 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 i'm only 5'4 if you're tall this will sit quite high up crossbody so if you want longer strap and also more space highly recommend you to go with medium size i'm gonna pop the medium and also the small size link below it looks so nice with chunky sweater for cooler time but also during summer with jeans or white pants oh it really is cute but also very edgy and chic i recommend if you're okay with downsizing 
the size of the bag. I love, love, love Soforino. And also the quality is so good. I know the price is higher than other YSL handbags, but this I don't regret. And if you want this look, but you don't want to pay so much, look at this. About the same size wise, right? And this, I'm gonna find the same size and link it below and I will have the name same size as mine and I'll have smaller size and bigger size from APC. This is square shape. They also have rectangular, so quite long and that will fit more and also organize better. But this size, small and square shape still fits a whole bunch and I love the way it opens very easy but also secure at the same time I love it looks very very elegant with this beautiful it's high quality hardware super shiny and I love the way how they made this area and when you open it it has the suede lining and it fits great amount and even though it's same size this fits less i know surprise okay if this was not with that ysl logo right here for sure this grace from apc is the winner price wise and the quality about the same i'll say this right now around five or six hundred dollars this is over three thousand i know a lot more this is discreet understated simple you don't really know the brand but beautiful quality handbag if that's what you're looking for this is the one the leather is very soft but also not easy to get scratch it so so good this will be another great gift for anyone if they know how to downsize go with the size small but not go with medium <sighs> sad <laughs> this i really really wanted to get and it was sold out and i had to wait to get it and finally i got and i was so happy wore it for the first time going to legoland and my mistake <laughs> yes because it fits so much so i kept putting a lot of stuff like water bottles and snacks and kids clothes yes great capacity it holds a lot but it was not as durable as i thought and my kids they spill the juice it had the red color cherry flavor so it's got all red right here and of course i try to remove that with white soap and water it did remove most of it but still do you see the red color or pink color here still is there and also this started happening just wearing one time and not only here but also this on the front i know this is not leather bag or even canvas so i understand but it's not only here two parts start to coming off and also right here <laughs> it's like more and more seeing it it will eventually happen like maybe all around it the more you use the more it shows of course for everything right anything but this wear and tear i don't think this is a uh, worth paying over a thousand to get straw bag and it will show wear and tear super fast i mean one time wearing from that trip i decided to go with this handbag the bum bag mini size from lv because it's so big i tend to just pile up if you take this to beach of course it's gonna get wear also right one time wearing maybe that's just normal process you do and i just really like the look of it and now i'm thinking i could have gone with the one longer style it's kind of like a cut off the wing section and they have smaller size 
I could have gone with that, I guess. I'm gonna link to it below still if you're interested. But this, let's talk about. I recently got it not long ago, but oh my goodness, I already wore. I don't remember how many times, but I've been really, really loving and very, very convenient just right up here and i always even wearing a long coat on top of it it's kind of like hiding in a sense but still it's like having an accessory in front of me type of feeling does that make sense it's really cute and small but it fits my phone max pro and also like car holder and lipstick and bits of things little candy stuff for my kids all fit in here and it's just stinking cute seven holes here and i have it second hole from the bottom and i have a crossbody it's not too short but it just it's like part of my body or love handle like right in front of here so i feel secure to have something and easy to just open and get something out it hasn't been that long again but i'm just quite impressed with how much I used and also how much I enjoyed wearing. And if you haven't checked out my unboxing where I'll talk more about this handbag and comparison with so many other bags, you can check it. I'll have it right here and link it below. You can go to theme park or somewhere, so many people around or even traveling. The look is great, secure, functional, and holds quite a lot. So that I do recommend, but this, I say avoid it. No, I don't think this is worth paying. And if you wanna go with straw bag, go with smaller size. <laughs> so you don't see all these. I believe you can fix this, but I already see it, it's going to happen. Even if you fix it, it's gonna come out or somewhere. And that's something that you have to be aware of when you're buying this type of handbag. <laughs> A lesson learning. But if you want something like this, airy and quite summery, but all year round you can wear, I recommend this one, the Longchamp. This is made with canvas. It's really, really functional also. And this is another bag I've been loving and highly recommend again. And it's about the size as the Neverfall MM. You can also cinch in. Also, you can clip on both sides and in the middle also. So it is all closed on top. So it's actually better than never full because never full you can never close it unless you have the organizer with the zipper inside but this handbag is just so good bottom is the calf leather and where it gets dirty the most the handle all calf leather super classy tote bag and really lightweight and i've talked about this handbag already a few times i think on my channel again i recommend i love the color combination also other than the chanel backpack and also the grace this is another favorite and the best purchases i do highly recommend it comes with taller style and also looking just like this but smaller version i'll link to all three down below and check it. let's talk about this handbag as i just see it right here it's the puzzle bag from loewe size small comes with medium and large also mini size i have mini which i use pretty much every day dropping off my kids the reason I use that bag so much other than other handbags first it's easy bag it has a top handle quite short and right on top of the bag so easy to grab and go like this but also it comes with the crossbody so when I have to have my hands free I just pop that on and the shoulder strap is really thin and small but also comfortable also the leather is very very tough wearing but at the same time flexible and soft so it's all in all just a perfect handbag and if you don't own puzzle bag i know the price is quite high but i think it's worth it if you're interested and thought of it and you want something easy chic understated beautiful simple style grab and go handbag 
highly recommend you to get it now then later the price is gonna only go up and it's really popular and especially those who like minimal style love 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 loewe puzzle bag if you love peekaboo the fendi bag that type of style you will for sure love loewe puzzle or other handbags from loewe they normally make minimal simple look but their leather is just so luxurious and hard wearing when it's still very soft and i just really really adore it the shape is very very interesting but also it fits a lot inside i have the organizer from samorga and it comes with the shoulder strap that you can wear just single shoulder but also crossbody three colors go just perfectly super neutral go with everything birthday and hawaii unboxing those items i'm not gonna talk about in this video because i just opened it literally and haven't really had time to use except this one i recently opened also but i had quite a bit of time to use this so that's why i could talk about it but here i got this lv right but i used to buy a whole bunch more lv handbags right but i don't really see things that really interest me since I'm gonna talk about this, I just wanted to mention that I don't know. I don't really see things that really, really I love at LV right now. So I'm like getting things like my husband, like shirts that I got for him for anniversary and these I gifted and oh, I am so happy I got these and these are his favorite pair of shoes and he actually enjoys wearing and that makes me really happy because i've been wanting him to enjoy or wear what i get him or what he has but he doesn't really think about it do you know what i'm saying because he's not really into like i am and i know like not everyone has to i understand but because I do enjoy, I want my husband to enjoy too, right? But he doesn't. And these are the very first and the only ones actually he actually likes and he likes to wear. And he says that these are very comfortable. And also the color theme, just really nice, neutral, but also fashionable looking. It just elevates your look. And also the LV sign here, it's not just gold color but it has that black enamel that really helps it to look more discreet not as flashy like super big lv sign it would have been you know without that black so i love it and also it has the gradient like blackish around it and it's more like patina looking and as it ages these will become more dark so kusama collection one and only and actually i got one to give to you guys but this is the agenda and i have my name there i've got stickers here i love that lining being red color love it and i got this notepad or note thing from louis vuitton also but actually you could buy the same size from different place and this i've been writing down many things and just what i am grateful for and also the notes for my videos what i'm gonna film next and also just a lot of things like a bucket list and the bible verses that i enjoy the mornings i know kusama collection i don't think it was that successful from lv but it's very playful and fun and just happy type of color it's like going back to my childhood and another piece that i got from lv this pencil case you guys remember i was asking you guys what to get i got these from amazon right tech highlighter when i read i like to highlight underline a whole bunch these all having soga same brand so overall i'm loving but i don't recommend you to get pencil case that has lighter color lining doesn't look that dirty right here i believe but everything just 
you know, piling. I mean, it's nice to have, but you don't have to have type of items. The color, I love pink and white. The visual that they're having on the bottom, that's not my favorite thing, but <laughs> so far, so good. And this is really cute with the zipper, really smooth to open and close. So overall, all good, but I'm not sure if I should recommend it or not, honestly. And Tiffany & Co. It is gorgeous with the Tiffany blue enamel in the middle of it. Feminine, so it's perfect for ladies, but it's quite thin. So if you write a lot with this thin pen, it hurts right here. But this, I got the same one for my husband when I got this to match together with Sterling Silver. This was a gift from Tiffany when we went to New York City for a landmark visit. The clip, I love the T here. And this is much thicker. If you're gonna write a lot, I think this is better. But again, this is cuter and prettier with that. It also comes with the pink color, I believe, the baby pink. Okay, that's making a lot of noise, but oh. I stopped talking and back again. But let's talk about fan clip and lapels. Love that green Malachi stone. Guys, one time, I mean, I was so good taking care of this piece, not wearing in shower and in bath. You guys know I take hot bath pretty much every night. And one day I didn't know I was wearing this and I was inside my bathtub super hot and steamy and oh my goodness i literally screamed i was like ah i'm wearing this and i took it off and i had to dry it but i think it looks still the same as before the color didn't change i'm gonna be very careful not to do that so that's the only thing i'll say you have to be careful wearing. Yes, it's more delicate than like onyx or other stones or just solid gold, but it is something to look at and also recommend because it's just that special and gorgeous and beautiful. It's not like super pop of color, but it is definitely different than just black. I've really been enjoying wearing it. It looks really luxurious with the yellow gold combination together oh my goodness tiffany and co <laughs> it's me like yes yeah, like heavy it's coming into my collection so much i don't remember if i talked about the victoria bracelet already in one of these type of video but it is gorgeous of course i have the matching band ring also so i normally wear it together when i wear the ring i wear this on my wrist and it's just beautifully blinging and tiffany and co they always choose the higher of the middle so always above right this area so their diamonds are just you don't have to question they're gonna bling they're gonna be shiny i love the shade marquee with the little round diamond in the middle more special than typical round shape like tennis bracelet like this one this is the necklace but also from the victoria collection so it has one marquee and it goes all the way with the round bling so much and I talked about and recommended you guys the Swalovski, the same looking but a lot lower price point. I still recommend and I so coming back, I'm gonna link it below for you to check it out. That's a good way for you to test it out first. If you will end up wearing this type of necklace, even though it is super classy and iconic, this could be a bit too much for some people. I was one of those people thought this is not gonna work or it might be too much for my lifestyle. But once I have it and I try it on with other outfits, oh my goodness, it's just so, so classy, guys. Super classy. It is something for you to have one of the precious things in your closet, but it's never gonna go out of style. It's gonna be there forever and also you can hand it down to your family member and the price already has gone up 2000 more than what i paid for one of the mines closing down that 
really gave a big impact especially the price have gone up dramatically for the natural diamonds if you want to pay less for real diamond i highly recommend you to go with lab grown diamond because those are still real diamond and exact same way that they grow just like the natural diamond like this but the price is just so much higher this than the lab grown actually i have a new piece here from ideal this is the pear shape oh, so gorgeous half carrot i love that the shape is beautiful you can go with this shape or flip it the other way and also these are my new pieces from ideal recently i got and so gorgeous and i could pop this on this also but i have these two together on one year i'll link to these new pieces down below and of course this video is not like a motive for them but i just wanted to mention if you have the budget and you still want the real diamond and these are so so sparkly and beautifully made all handmade and gorgeous highly recommend it and this bling bling disco ball from tiffany and co i just think this is like fun to look at it blinks so much like disco ball and i wear this together like this way it's like a bubble <laughs> or balloons together i love mixing rose gold with diamond this ring has so much diamond when you compare it with other pieces this is a really good buy that was one of the reasons i wanted to go with of course i love the look of it i'm just so glad i got it and uh, it's one of the interesting yet just gorgeous precious yeah item to have and another one it's the nut collection from tiffany it's like knotted it's just so so beautiful i wouldn't say girly girly but more feminine and womanly type of uh, collection if you talk about hardware collection being more manly or more masculine or chic this is more of ladylike it's just really really pretty i love the look of it. it also comes with a thinner style the smaller so it has only one line of the knot so i got another knot collection earrings one long line here is with the diamond pave and it's knotted with the rose gold so it is gorgeous i love it but this i love 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 thousand percent every time i wear i just absolutely adore it the ring but this i should have tried <laughs> i love it but if i could choose or if i can go back to it i may have gone with the necklace not style everything you want to try on you and you want to consider at the store or just have some time for you to think about it that's of course i recommend and that's what the best way to do for everyone but this is the thing i phone ordered and the ring worked but this earring if i went to the store and tried it on might have loved it at that time but from having it i don't really really love or enjoy wearing i actually choose or love the earring same style as this one ball earring that i have the drop earring those are a lot cheaper or lower price without the diamond of course so this was around under seven thousand i think it was not as great purchase as other tiffany and co items personally just my honest feeling i would have skipped that this is from chanel and it looks like card holder right but it is the key holder four different keys key fob here but you can also take that off and remove this ring i normally put the gym membership card cash folded two or three cards underneath and on the back there is another slip here two or three cards so the leather 
it's durable it's nice but also flexible so you can put quite a lot of cars the price was higher than the typical car holder right here there's no area where you can put the keys this car holder now 550 or 600 but this cost 750 i believe before tax so it's quite expensive for this tiny little card holder looking but it has more details right here i think it is worth it but i'll say if you want to use this heavily like only having one key holder or card holder to use all the time i recommend you to go with darker color shade because it's going to get dirty it will get dirty it will have more wear and tear versus this wouldn't have much and it's not easy to get i noticed uh some of you asked me how to get it where to get it and i asked my essays but they all say they come and go quickly and i happen to get one but if you find i say go for it especially when you see dark color and since i'm talking about the chanel car holder the Chanel car holder giveaway is ending pretty soon. I don't know when this video is going to go up, but I'm going to have a link to my Instagram where you can enter because I didn't want to do all this scamming thing going on on YouTube. So I did it on Instagram this time. So please go and check it out to enter. It's really classy and beautiful. Ta-da! Here is the Picatin from Hermes, size small, so 18. The smaller size they have, but bigger size also I have in black, which I don't honestly wear and I'll have to let it go one day, but still it's sitting in my closet. But this is the perfect size I'll say for Picatin. It's just holds a lot but not too tiny like the mini but it looks very very cute wearing it crook of your arm or holding it so only thing it doesn't come with the shoulder strap or you cannot wear a crossbody but if you're like me love top handle and normally you hold your bag with your hands this handbag will come in really handy very very comfortable and slouchy and casual style handbag but add the back charm like i normally do you can ribbon the twilly here or wrap it around now i have the fuchsia color ostrich and also rose extreme which is more reddish pink than this one so this is more of true pink i would say so it's gorgeous you guys know i'll be more uh, getting away from pink and getting more into like tan color brown i always still love cream and white color but olive green like green color i've been getting into more so than pink so you see i mean you see it only pink that i got yeah recently is this so honestly i have not worn just yet <laughs> but i'm still glad that i got it and also i love having the palladium hardware the silver finish with beautiful pop of pink color i do love and i do recommend picketing but for this type of look as it doesn't look as fancy personally that's what i think and also if you watch my this video that i will have it right here where i recommend you to get something other than this like popular hard to get type of handbag especially from hermes or chanel i still think you could go with longchamp the bucket bag i'll link it below a lot less pricey than this one and easier to get it's very very um comfortable bag i would say and casual i normally add charm or twilly something here since i think this looks really plain okay compared to this if you go with gold which also it is recent purchase this looks more dressy to me as it has the contrast stitching on the edge around it and also here all has the extra so to me that adds something to this handbag and that is like another layer having on this simple and minimal personally i really love 
gold. I was really happy that I got offered because the gold Birkin that I have, it's with the gold hardware, the yellow gold, but this one is with the palladium hardware, which I've been always wanting to add to my collection because it looks more casual than with the gold hardware. Honestly, I haven't worn the pink one yet just because I haven't been really wearing pink color, but this I wore going to Orlando with my kids and I wore it already twice and one time also I took it out going to the church meeting and yeah it's lovely neutral color gold is one of my favorite favorite color and I highly recommend even if you don't love tan color I think it's really nice it is uh, one of the nicest color to get from our mess um, it's always gonna be there never go out of style yes and uh, iconic color and classic style next let's talk about gucci this handbag 1955 i love it doesn't come with this gold chain i got it from samorga to add this to dress up but because it is white color it's actually cream but it's lighter color i wanted to add just something that blings to add another look but it comes with two straps one is the casual style which i love but i just don't find myself wearing it as it just is super gucci there and for understated look this handbag is just so good and comes with crossbody same color leather as the back you could wear it with the crossbody but my favorite way is just being with the gold chain wearing this way it looks just so chic and this again white color the cream color goes with everything and anything you wear and this handbag again is casual and dressy so i highly recommend and i am just so glad i got this one the cream color i thought of going with the monogram the gucci monogram with the same size or even the bigger size which is really popular or i thought of going with the tan color dark tan i think it would have been really nice too but I've been just wearing this handbag so much. It is really well made. And some of you ask me if this is hard to open and close or if it doesn't close all the way. This part is quite small and short. So if you do like this, it won't open all the way. So how I open is on this section. I just pull, it opens up easily and push it down. It closes and it stays like that. And someone told me it opens by itself but i don't i don't find it maybe canvas does that but leather version it stays put nothing to complain about i highly recommend let's talk about the sandbag oh my goodness and you guys worried so much since i did have the issue with the small size which i haven't updated i have to tell you guys in separate video because it's gonna be too much to talk about in here but this area i had the peeling and the leather was just so i mean the design that they have created with this handbag it's just i don't know why they did it it will eventually get wear wear out of this area for this bigger size handbags but the mini size this has been so good guys and i took this to hawaii one day all day out at the jungle with dinosaurs right the bus that we were on it had no window and it rained and oh my goodness i was like holding onto this handbag can you imagine i was like oh and my husband was like trying to cover me here and i should have not brought this handbag i know it but crossbody it was so comfortable guys and i love this bag so much more actually after that day even it's two chains here it doesn't eat up much space when you put inside and then it becomes a clutch and I wore this going to New York also, going to Tiffany event, loved it. Even though it is not real pearl, but it's glass with painted. They make the pearls looking better than real 
real pearls. And I love this charm. It looks like vintage, just such a good buy. Every time I wear, I try to see if there's any like leather peeling or cracking anything. No, nothing happened. And also the combination with the pearl and the Chanel brush gold with the diamond quilting shape here with the hardware. It comes with the crinkled finish calf leather, which is more tough wearing. And this handbag, isn't it just so cute? Every time I wear it, I always get compliments and asked by just people randomly, where did you get it? And it looks just so interesting, but also it is functional. You just pop it open and becomes a clutch, but also you can take this out to wear it as crossbody. It's well-made and gorgeous. The price is so good. It is from M. Jemmy. I'll link to it down below. I love, especially this color also. It's quite similar to the gold, but the gold is a bit darker than this one. This is a bit lighter tan color. The gold, finally I got, I've been wanting to add. Uh, when I wanted this gold, they had it, but I wasn't sure about this belt, so I didn't get it, but then I regret it. And later I got, and uh, it's gold with the gold. So that's what I'm talking about. This is gold with the palladium hardware. And this I got blanc, super white. It's just stark white with the rose gold. I got this one when I purchased this. Gorgeous! You guys know I've been so wanting this combination and I thought I would not get it. For some reason, I just thought I wouldn't. But it's here and I've been enjoying every time I wear. I really, really appreciate just because I got offered. I know some people may think that's crazy or just ridiculous, but if you're in that journey, you understand, especially something that you really, really wanted and perfect right combination that you've been wanting, got offered. I love that rose gold hardware with the cry. The color cry is like off-white. The white cell, the cream color is more of cool tone, whereas this one is warm tone. It goes with pretty much anything I pair, even with the white color, like jeans or white shoes, they match really well. So overall, I'm just so still over the moon about this purchase. It's so hard to actually get in and out, especially if you have a lot going on on your wrist and your hands. Normally I wear lots of jewelry, so it's not that easy, honestly, to do this. But a lot of times I just wear it like this, hold it like this, but sometimes I gotta do this, but still I enjoy wearing. And the size is just perfect. It's 25 centimeter this way. So it is same size as the Speedy 25. So think about it. Speedy 25 looks so much smaller, isn't it? Than the Birkin 25, because it's taller, but it is quite small. And also it fits a lot. Interesting, isn't it? I love it. I love adding my charm from Lindy, the initial C. It just pops a lot, especially with this neutral, quite understated colorway. I believe I missed something. I always do after I film this type of video. I'm like, oh, I forgot about this. So if you want to hear from me about it, oh, one thing. I forgot your name, but I know you always comment. Thank you so much. But she asked me if I can wear this with the Bichetta leather, if I can wear this as a belt bag. It is too long. I think you can just punch the holes by yourself or ask LV. You can wear this easily belt bag with this. And I tried this also. To wear a belt bag is too tiny. If you're really slim, maybe you can. Oh, I, my head can go in there. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy watching and was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. I'm gonna get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys in my next video.